Today, we're diving into an extremely powerful tool that has the potential to dramatically improve your trading experience. This trading view indicator is much better than your standard MACD, RSI, or Stochastic. Its advanced features allow you to analyze price action on a totally different level, taking into account momentum, volume, and even market sentiment. With this tool, your trade entries will become more accurate, which means you'll make more profits and avoid those unnecessary losses. If you would like to join me and trade alongside myself, over on Fairdesk, it's easier than ever. With their integrated copy trading system, you can turn this into another form of passive income. Once you've followed my copy trading page for free, it will automatically enter and exit trades as soon as I do. Sign up in the link in the description below. If you do use the link, you will get VIP1 and 10% rebate on your fees. The indicator I'm talking about is called Red K Ever X, created by Red K Trader. This script explores volume price analysis basic concepts and Wyckoff law effort versus results by inspecting the relative volume and the associated price action for each bar. It shows the analysis as an easy to read stacked band visual based on detailed analysis. It generates a metric known as the relative rate of flow, which is an intuitive oscillator that ranges between 100 and minus 100. It can be utilized to generate a signal whenever a bullish or bearish trend is identified over a specific number of bars as chosen by the user. For those who don't know, volume price analysis is a trading technique that examines the relationship between the volume of trades being executed and the price movement of those trades. This analysis aims to provide insights into the market trends and potential reversals based on how the volume and price interact. The first component is the volume. Volume refers to the number of shares or contracts that the exchange hands over a specific period, typically during a trading day. It's a measure of activity and liquidity in the market. High volume often indicates high interest or high uncertainty, while low volume may suggest disinterest or stability. The second component is the price. The price is the cost per share or contract at a particular point in time. It's influenced by the supply and demand dynamics and reflects the market consensus on the value at any given moment. VPA uses these two key data points and examines how they influence one another. Here's how the analysis works. The first scenario is when the volume is up and the price is also up. This signals that the market is in a bullish phase as a rise in the trading activity pushes prices higher. It could indicate a continued uptrend if the high volume does persist. The second scenario is when the volume is up and the price is down. This could mean that the market is in a bearish phase as increased activity pushes the price lower. If volume continues, it may suggest a continued downtrend. The next case is when the volume is down and the price is up. This could suggest a potential price reversal to the downside. Low volume might indicate a lack of conviction in the current uptrend. Lastly, we have a scenario when the volume is down and the price is also down. This could point to a potential price reversal to the upside as a lack of volume might mean that there is a lack of interest in the current downtrend. VPA is used by traders to validate the strength of price movements and to spot potential reversals or periods of consolidation. The Wyckoff principle on the other hand states that the volume of trading or the effort should generally produce corresponding changes in the price or the result. Wyckoff traders monitor the relationship between the volume and the price to predict potential price movements. Here are the key implications of the law. The first one is when the effort and the results are in harmony with a high volume of trading or a high effort resulting in a significant price move or a notable result. The market is behaving as expected. This situation can signal a continuation of the current trend. For example, if heavy selling leads to a significant drop in price, the market is in a consistent bearish phase. The second implication is when the effort and results are in disharmony. If a high volume of trading, which is high effort, does not lead to a significant price move, there is a divergence indicating potential market weakness 
or a possible trend reversal. For instance, if there is heavy buying volume, but prices do not rise significantly, this suggests that the market may not be as bullish as it seems. The law of effort versus results is a powerful tool for traders who can not interpret its signals effectively. Now let me show you how you can apply the features of this indicator in practice. But first of all, let's access the indicator settings and open the style section to make the indicator easier to read. Let's increase the opacity of its components. Once you're done, scroll all the way down to the levels and leave only two of them, 50 and minus 50. All right, now let's move on to our buy and sell signals. A buy setup will look like this. First, the indicator must fall below the minus 50 level. This condition ensures we're buying in an oversold market. Second, the smooth band crosses the signal band to the upside. Once we have a cross, it's time to inspect the volume and the price bars. Let's first take a look at the volume. The bar must be green or bullish at the time of the cross. It also does need to be strong enough. A strong enough volume is considered when the bar exceeds the 50 level. The last step is to inspect the price bar. The price bar is located below the volume bar. A buy signal is only valid if the current bullish bar is taller than the last bearish bar. We enter on the close of our candlestick, set our stop loss at the most recent swing high, and for the take profit, you can either use a risk to reward ratio of one to two or continually move your stop loss up as soon as you hit a new target. Conversely, a sell signal would be valid if these conditions are met. First, the indicator rises above the 50 level. Second, the smooth band crosses the signal band to the downside. Third, the bearish volume must exceed the 50 level. And lastly, the current bearish bar is taller than the last bullish bar. To add extra confirmation to these signals, I recommend using two more tools. One that identifies the long-term trend and one that spots market consolidation. For the first one, I like to use Nick Ryback's Trailing Reverse by Evergett. Once the indicator has been installed, open its settings and change the value to one. Then go to its style section and hide the buy and sell labels. You can not easily detect market trends using this tool. When the price is above the trailing reverse line, the market trends upwards. When below, the market trends downwards. For the second indicator, add consolidation zones by Lonesome the Blue. This tool is very handy and can be used with pretty much any strategy. It finds consolidation zones in real time, which are no trade zones, or times when the trading volume is very low. Before you start using it, open the inputs and change the value to 3. You can also adjust the color of these zones. Let's make them grey. Now let's take a look at some examples of how you can buy with this strategy. In the first example, we see that the price makes a large move to the upside, followed by consolidation. The red K indicator became oversold shortly after that, and a buy signal was issued. The signal was confirmed by both the volume and the price bars, Notice that the price remained above the trailing reverse line throughout this time. Let's take a look at another example. Watch how rapidly the price declines as soon as the range phase ended. The market showed the signs of a continuing bearish trend. The indicator produced a perfect sell signal, which was confirmed by volume and momentum. Overall, the Red K Ever X is a super useful and versatile tool. Give it a try, and I'm sure you will undoubtedly make a lot of money. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to Flames and Trading for more ideas in the future.